Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and today I'm getting all kinds of things accomplished in the garden and top priority is to get my tower garden reseeded. Um, I've been really pleased with everything I've harvested. This got planted last fall and you know I've had lots of broccoli that's doing really well. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest everything that's left. I'm gonna pull out the existing plants and then I'm gonna seed some fresh cauliflower and broccoli into new rock wool cubes. So the process is really simple. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on time-lapse so that you can see exactly how it's done. All right, well, I didn't get a huge amount harvested, but I did get some, definitely gonna eat it for dinner tonight. More remarkably were the root systems from these broccolis and cauliflowers. And you can see growing in water is very effective. The plants love it. Um, and since it's still January, I have plenty of time to do another round of cool season seeds. So I definitely wanna do more broccoli and I got some interesting things from high mowing seeds recently. I'm not gonna do cabbage, but I do wanna do cauliflower and broccoli. And oh, here's the Romanesco, which I try to do every year. It never turns out quite as nice as the pictures on the internet, but I'm gonna try it again. So basically I'm just gonna put one seed, ideally one seed into the center of each of these rock walls. I'm gonna put them back into the tower and they'll germinate in place outside. That way they will be kind of well acclimatized for the winter season. Hey, don't bite the seeds. You can see I've got a helper here. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Romanesco and I definitely wanna do, I mean, maybe I'll do the whole thing. <laughs> maybe I'll do all of them in this. That would be the easy solution. The key really is to not getting them too crowded of course, these packs are, you know, you don't get a lot of seed anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do them all. And this way, literally picking up one seed at a time is the best way to have control over what you're seeding. Uh, some of those that I just took out, I had accidentally put more than one seed in and it showed. Hello, little babe. <laughs> she's both the best helper and the worst helper at the same time. Just once your fingers get wet, I could probably do this more easily with like tweezers or something. <laughs> now that my hands are wet and it's getting a little bit cold, it's getting a bit harder, but you kind of get the gist. And now I won't feel bad that I bought the seed and didn't use it because, well, here I am getting it seeded. So, and if I'm gonna have success anywhere with Romanesco broccoli, it's in the tower garden. Um, this is consistently my most successful way to grow heading vegetables is in this aeroponic tower. Okay, now I'm just gonna put these back into the tower and get everything put back together.